In the wake of her tragic loss, we came together to address a critical need. Distributing defibrillators, teaching vital skills and spreading awareness became the core mission of the Katie McDade Foundation and we're so thankful for anyone who's helped us out along the way to achieve this. This award signifies more than recognition. This is a testament to our shared commitment and collective dedication to creating a positive impact and safeguarding our young athletes. Together we can create a safer and more resilient community. Thank you for acknowledging our work. Well, absolutely fantastic. Um, this is came as a big surprise to us all. Um, when we started the, the foundation and the charity, we, we never done it to kind of get these achievements and awards and stuff, but to, to be recognised for the work that's been done, um, it's, it's, it's quite an amazing feeling, to be honest. I just, to be honest, overwhelming. Like, we didn't expect anything like this when the foundation started. It's, it's good, it's overwhelming. Um, it's probably something when you set out to do something like this you would never expect to do. Just a typical training night um, in the Myth Park and the boys were just doing a general warm up um, running around the park just to get um, uh, the body going and Kieran felt unwell during that um, and then unfortunately um, went out in a cardiac arrest during training. Um, it was a difficult time for everyone, the emergency services came, um, the boys were taken away from that as much as we could but it was a difficult time for Everybody and everybody involved in the club at the time, um, all the boys, um, they were very, very close to him, very friendly with everybody here within the team, yeah, very well liked within the team, just a lovable boy and um, that was, um, unfortunately that happened to him. Kieran was just like, he was quite a laid back boy, um, had quite a dry sense of humour, um, he was very likeable in the team, um, I don't think any of the boys would ever have had a bad word to say about Kieran, um, and he was also a talented footballer. Uh, at the start we, we really looked about uh, two defibrillators we'd be quite happy to, to, to get out to the, the local clubs. We managed at the moment over 139, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, it's something we didn't expect and I think it's doing you know great justice to, to Kieran's name. The community, the community have been great. Everybody's came together during it um, when it happened and since then everybody's kept kept going, kept fighting for the foundation, kept raising money um, through various events um, which has enabled us to over 130 defibrillators to different grassroots football clubs. Um, I think if you went back to the start and like, once you kind of recover from the loss of Kieran and you kind of gather your thoughts and see what, what to do to, to keep his name alive, that, then to even get to 100 plus defibrillators would be unthinkable. So even to get a award like that is it's amazing. I think he'd be proud up there, he'd probably be slightly embarrassed um, knowing who he was. But um, I think you'd be proud of what we've done um, and hopefully we can keep going, keep that going even more and donate more defibrillators to other grassroots teams and um, keep his name, keep his legacy out there.